You probably know that ozone layer protects the earth from the uh, harmful sun's UV radiation. But did you know we have the ability to destroy it as well? We also created a lot of holes a few years back. How did we do that? And then what did we do to stop it? Well, let's find out. To answer this question, we need to ask ourselves, what exactly is ozone? How is it formed? So you know that there's already oxygen molecules up in the air, right? That's the one that we breathe. So oxygen molecules high up in the air, they receive sunlight. In fact, high energy radiation. This high energy radiation can actually break that oxygen molecule into its individual oxygen atoms. What happens next is of course, individual oxygen atoms are very, very reactive. And so they will uh, combine back to give O2. So this is a reversible reaction. But occasionally, one of these oxygen atom can combine with another O2. And when that happens, it gives us an O3. O3, a very rare molecule, right? Well, that's what ozone is. It's not so rare actually. So ozone is basically a lot of O3 molecules high up in the air that forms a blanket which shields us from the UV radiation. So how did we start destroying O3 molecules? Well, humanity, as we our technology grew, we started building a lot of gadgets and stuff. We started emitting harmful gases into the atmosphere. One such harmful gas is called CFC, which stands for chloro, chloro fluorocarbon. This, is, this was mostly emitted by our refrigerators and fire extinguishers. And they were directly going and destroying our ozone. How exactly you ask? Well, not get into the detail, but what these molecules were doing was that you can probably guess that it has chlorine in it. So as CFC rise up in the air, just like with the O2 molecules, the sunlight would come and break the CFC and you would get chlorine out of it. So sunlight would break this and you get chlorine and a single atom of chlorine is extremely reactive. So what that chlorine would do is that that chlorine would go and break that ozone O3 back into O and O2. And what made CL so dangerous, so deadly is that once it does that, it doesn't stop. Chlorine comes out of this reaction and is now free to do it to another O3 molecule. In other words, a single chlorine can destroy multiple O3 molecules. And so you can imagine if a lot of us are using refrigerators, fire extinguishers, and probably other devices which keep on releasing CFC into the atmosphere, it wouldn't be long before we start creating holes in the ozone layer. And that's exactly what happened. And so how did we stop it? Well, we simply banned CFC. So we just banned this molecule. We made sure that whatever we're building, we have to make sure it is CFC free. So today, refrigerators, fire extinguishers, all your other, whatever gadgets we use, whatever devices we use, they don't produce a CFC anymore. So we have limited how much CFC goes into the atmosphere and that's how we have saved the ozone.